Now, a new wonder cure has been allegedly found that cures the coronavirus. The drug, ivermectin, has not been widely used against the coronavirus specifically, but is used for parasite infections in animals and human beings. Now, a group of Namibian doctors have petitioned the Ministry of Health and Social Services, as well as the Namibia Medicines Regulatory Council, to grant approval for the use of the ivermectin drug. Joining me now in studio is the chairperson of the council, that's Ms. Hendrina Gideon, with more details on this drug, as well as the stance of the regulatory council on this matter. Very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Good morning, Dishishi. Thank you for inviting me. Firstly, for the sake of our viewers, what exactly is ivermectin? Um, ivermectin is basically a broad-spectrum antiparasitic agent. It's used in both humans and animals, as you li rightly said. Um, in humans, it's usually used for parasitic infections, uh, mostly um, such as lice and scabies. And in animals, it's also used to prevent and control parasitic infections as well. Yeah. Now, this new quote-unquote wonder cure, what is the exact correlation between how ivermectin um, gets rid of, of parasitic paras paras infections and perhaps that to the, to the co coronavirus? Where exactly um, is the correlation between the two? Um, um, uh, ivermectin has become um, a potential drug of interest in COVID-19 because um, researchers have done a uh, test, an experimental laboratory test, yeah. where they, they took SARS-CoV-2 um, and injected it with ivermectin. So what happened in that experiment is that it was, uh, the results showed that about 5,000 folds um, of the virus, the concentration was reduced. Mm. So this happened within 48 hours after that inoculation was done yeah. in a test tube. Yeah. So this is how it was identified as a potential drug of interest in COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And this is not new for in drug development and drug discovery. This yes. is what happens. And further research needs to be done yeah. to identify what's the benefit in human use. Very much so. How much do we know about it um, from a Namibian standpoint in terms of the use of it um, in the human body? Um, in Namibia per se, yeah. we do not have a human registered uh, formulation of ivermectin. Okay. What we currently have is the veterinary product that is used in animals. So, but in other markets around the world, we do have um, ivermectin human formulations. Mm -hmm. So, but in Namibia, we do not have a registered product as of yet. As of yet. Yeah. This is FDA approved, right? Not FDA approved. Mm -hmm. In other markets, in other countries, they are using it on clinical trial basis. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they are taking details of all the patients who are using the drug, yes. monitoring them for side effects, in the first, for the purposes of clinical trials. Mm -hmm. So for, for use with outside clinical trials, it has not been approved. Yeah. Interesting. There's been a petition uh, by a number of doctors um, to have this ivermectin um, put out as a possible cure you know, to the coronavirus disease. Um, firstly, what is the stance of the Namibia Medicines Regulatory Council on this? Um, the NMRC is actually due to meet very soon this week. Um, and uh, what we've received the petition um, on the 9th of June, yeah. and we will address the petition now. We are reviewing data as it becomes available, mm -hmm. and uh, we will give feedback on that petition very soon, within this week. Yeah. Typically, what would the approval of such a drug from the regulatory council standpoint, what would we look at in terms of itinerary, in ter sorry, not itinerary, but in terms of uh, qualifications um, for, for the approval of, of this drug? For, um, at the moment, what, what the process of drug approval, it needs um, a dossier application from the manufacturer of a product. Mm -hmm. We uh, have scientists in the NMRC who review those dossiers. And we, after review, of scientific data and evidence, we then um, approve the medication based on its safety, efficacy, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, st uh, all the stability details of the drug. Mm -hmm. So that is what it, it will take. Um, if there is a clinical trial, sometimes we do also look at those evidence, and then that will base our approvals on those clinical trials. Yeah. 
So just for interest's sake, uh, do we carry out tests of our own to verify some of these, these findings, so to say? With regards to um, stability tests and things like that, we do have a laboratory that takes, carries out those tests, but there is more to a drug than just stability. So we need to do, it has to be effective, meaning that there has to be clinical evidence that this drug is effective yeah. and that we get from clinical trials, which are happening elsewhere in the world. Yeah. And those will be provided to us by the manufacturer when they submit a dossier to us. Very much so. Uh, Ms. Gideon, I'm sure that you are aware that many people are looking um, towards this drug as an alternative, as a, a cure, you know, for the COVID-19 um, disease, um, though not approved. Just what do you have to say um, to these people with the growing um, trend um, around this particular drug? Yeah. Um, at the moment in Namibia, since we do not a hu have a human formulation of ivermectin, I would like uh, the people to be wary of the available ivermectins because remember humans and animals can take the same drug but of different concentrations. Drugs made for animals might be of higher concentration than that required for human beings and there might be untoward side effects that might come with that combination. Yeah. So I would like them to be very aware of those effects and be careful of using uh, medication which are not approved for indications that are not approved yeah. at this stage. Very much so. so we are busy reviewing clinical evidence that is coming out with every drug that is being experimentally used for yeah. COVID. Yeah. And when the time avail itself, we will provide further information on with that. Fantastic. Just with the complications around some of the vaccines um, that we've come to see, that we've come to learn of, um, for instance, last week, the European Union uh, made new revelations with regards to the AstraZeneca um, vaccine and complications that could possibly arise for people who have um, blood pressure issues. Um, from our standpoint, from the Namibia Medicines Regulatory Council, how do we continue to keep ahead, you know, some of these complications? How, how are we approaching um, the complications around these vaccines as well? Um, from the Medicine Regulatory Council, we do have a therapeutic monitoring committee that collects all the adverse events that happens with all kinds of medication. Remember, every medication has a side effect. Yes. But what we look at it is, is what is the benefit? The end result. Yeah. What is the benefit of using that drug besides not using it? Yes. So if the benefits outweigh the risks, we tend to use the drug with every drug. So we collect information as the new data comes out, and that's what helps the formulations of newer drugs as they come through. Yeah. So we are collecting data as it, comes, it becomes available. We forward it to the manufacturers, and that, prevent, that is what, where the cautions yeah. of medication comes from. You will be alerted. If you have certain conditions, you may not use this drug, and that comes from market surveillance. Very much so indeed. Ms. Gideon, any final remarks from you this morning? Um, I would just like to urge the Namibian public to be wary of all the conspiracy theories going around with regards to COVID-19 treatment yes. and to um, ensure that they follow the protocols of Ministry of Health mm -hmm. with regards to wearing of our masks, social distancing, yes. and making sure that we wash our hands and sanitize with alcohol-based sanitizers. Mm -hmm. And lastly, to urge everyone to please go for your vaccination. This is the best option that we have at the moment yeah. to create herd immunity for our nation. Very much so. Thank Ms. Gideon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All the best with your work at the Regulatory Council. Yeah. Thank you. There you have it. That was uh, Hendrina Gideon. She's the chairperson of the Namibia Medicines Regulatory Council talking to us this morning about a petition that some 31 doctors handed that is to the Ministry of Health and Social Services as well as the Namibia Regulate Medicines Regulatory Council to have that is the ivermectin drug approved um, for the treatment of COVID-19. Ivermectin is primarily used for the treatment of parasite infections in animals and human beings. However, for Namibia, the treatment in human beings does not exist yet as it is still um, in the clinical trial stage. Um, and that's just, just cautioning the public to please wait approval of this drug. If it does, in fact, treat COVID-19, um, this will be determined through various tests and, of course, approvals 
um, through the various health bodies. As for now, the advice is to not use ivermectin for the supposed treatment of COVID-19. Do stay with us.